so you have everything in the box here and you have your drone and then the gimbal I'm just gonna sit right here I keep all the stuff for packaging intact so it keeps everything nice I'm just gonna set this out and spin that up I'm gonna use my tablet right here and just put that on. If you're going to use a tablet over a phone, it's going to be a little back heavy. So wherever you set that down, it's going to start to fade and tip over. And then we have the GoPro. So it's going to be the main things right here. Um, first thing I do <clears throat> is get the GoPro ready and free up the gimbal. Um, so the GoPro, make sure, number one, that you got a charged battery in the flap and open this up you just push this button in and then pull that out and then it opens up and this just pulls and pushes in and leave these plastic pieces on as that'll help you to be able to pull it out um, next thing make sure you have your SD card in here so GoPro is ready to go and in order to put that in here, there's a little hook right here. There's these pins that slide in right here. And then this flap that makes sure that it stays in. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start with this flat end, make sure it's kind of snug and centered, and then guide it in past the green thing. And then just wiggle it a little bit with your fingers so that these pins in the plate here, these pins, goes inside right here. So just wiggle and guide it. You can feel when they're in place and then just push it nice and tight. Make sure that this is in there. And then this piece right here is going to be the video output. It's gonna record it on the GoPro, but this video output is what actually feeds to the controller to your tablet so that you can see what you're doing. So pretty important that you have that plugged in. And then after that, then I take this little protective piece out. If you're in the area you're going to be flying, um, I leave this removed before flight just so I know what's up and what's down when I have to slide it back in. But this you can just push out and it'll go out in the direction of the words and the arrow. So sometimes it's a little finicky. Make sure you put that back in here. And then you have the gimbal. The gimbal will allow you to turn left, right, up, down. So it's really nice to have versus just the fixed um, weight. And the next thing to get this ready is I left this little foam insert. I always leave it in there just to make sure that it doesn't connect and then waste the battery before you want. So I just take this out, push this in, and then slide and click. Now, <clears throat> I have a bunch of propellers, and these spin on in one direction only. So these right here, three, and you'll have three of these. Um, you'll notice some of these are silver and shiny, and some are black. That's going to correspond with where you put them on. I left these little flaps on here. Otherwise, there are arrows that show you, and there are also arrows on here. So right here is silver, silver. You know that this goes on here, and again, the other silver goes on here. If this comes off, then the arrow right here points that spins this way, and this arrow does the same. So to tighten, you just spin it a little bit. And again, the other silver. And you need two blacks. Don't have anything there. And then to tighten, these actually spin the opposite way. So a little bit, you'll tell when it grabs. You don't need to over tighten, you're just going to be moving the motor. So just spin those on and you can tell it grabbed. And those are good. These are the extra ones here in case these get dinged up. Um, they will get dinged up on grass or crashing or anything else. So it's always good to have some spares and it's uh, you can also pick up I believe two or four packs as well. So the drone is ready. We're going to leave this powered off for the moment. So the next thing we have 
is the controller and the tablet. So I'm just going to get my tablet going. Um, you're going to need the 3DR Solo app. And then that's going to connect to this. This part of shingles. All right, so you've got your 3DR Solo app open, downloaded. You'll hold to turn on the controller's power. And then there's gonna be a little progress bar that goes across here. Just that it's booting up. Now the controller and the tablet will connect via a wireless. So we'll wait for this to be on. Right now it's waiting for the drone itself. So that means that this is on. So now we will just wait a few moments for the Wi-Fi to kick on. And you'll go to your Wi-Fi settings. You'll have to find the drone's or the controller's Wi-Fi signal. This one's right here, it's already connected. I have it set to auto connect. So from there we'll go back to the 3DR Solo. And now the vehicle's not connected or detected, but it sees the controller. So you'll have some settings here. Um, until the actual drone is connected, you're not gonna be able to change the drone settings. But this is where that is, so I'm just going to go ahead and move the box out of the way. <clears throat> All right, now you want to turn your GoPro on just by holding the power button and you always want to make sure the GoPro or the the drone is somewhat level um, because when it first turns on it tries to get its and calibrate its sensors so you can be off a little bit but the level alert, the more level you are the better off you're gonna be so you'll see the battery lights on the back indicate that it's on it'll also beep So right now we're still looking for it. The controller has now found it. Um, now it's gonna find GPS signal. This can take a few minutes. Um, if you have metal around you, metal buildings, or if there's a lot of trees and stuff in between the satellites and the drone, it's gonna take a little bit longer and it's not gonna find as many. Um, another thing you don't wanna make sure is that where you're launching it from, You can go straight up without having to worry. Um, even if you hover up and you can move it after the fact, um, if you do have to return to home in an emergency situation, the drone will automatically do that. Um, but it's going to want to go exactly where it launched. So make sure where you launch it from is a good spot and where you'd want it in an emergency to come back to. Um, so right now the screen still says searching for satellites. It's found nine of them here. It'll show the battery and it'll also show signal strength. Um, hold fly to start the motors. I left this flap on. I suggest you do the same. Um, now here it's connected to the vehicle. We're going to go back in the settings app. Um, you can go in the drone now. Um, this is the drone, the name and the Wi-Fi name. So right here, that's already preset. You'll have controller style, performance, altitude limits, um, different presets, and then you can also calibrate the level and the compass. 
Um, you also have a return to home. And this is in case as the signal between the controller and the drone gets interrupted. Um, the, your, the altitude the drone will fly back at right now is at 210 feet. I'm actually going to change that to 300 here. All right. And after reaching home, it's either going to land or hover. I have it land. You can do hover either. And return to launch or me. Me means the controller. Launch means when it launches, it pinpoints that GPS location, and that's where it's going to go. And again, here you have the controller, your performance modes, the flight speed, you can make it slower or faster, and the pan the camera, you can have it go slower or faster as well. That's the biggest things, your altitude limits. This is all the way up. Your presets and things like that are more advanced features, and you can change those to how, once you get a feel for flying, how it's going to be. So we're just going to go up to that corner, hit back. Then we're going to hit the fly solo button right here. Now I'm going to say it's ready for takeoff. And um, you should be seeing a picture of what the GoPro sees. Right now it's black and the record button is grayed out. So I'll show you that right here. So you'll have this is grayed out and the screen is black. So right away. That stands out as a problem here. So what I'm going to do is go back over to the drone. And sure enough, the GoPro is timed out. You can tell right now that the gimbal is working. It's trying to maintain its, alt its position. So it's going to fight you a little bit. I suggest not fighting with it back. Um, just push and hold the GoPro power button. Turn that sucker back on. This might be a setting you'd want to go back into the GoPro and turn it to never turn off. But I think it's probably at like three or five minutes or something close to that. Normally you're going to fly your drone after setting it up. You're not going to want to take the time to show other people in the world how to do this. So right now I could see a bunch of grass. Not going to be great. It shows the settings that the GoPro's in, 1080 at 60. And it's set in wide mode. Um, I suggest 1080, 60, you can do 2.5K, but that's at 30 frames, so fast action. The higher, the, the more frames, the better. Um, and flying a drone is pretty fast, so there's a lot of stuff going on. I suggest the highest, the highest frame rate you can, which is why I'm doing 1080 and 60. Um, you also notice that now the record button is, is red, so that means I can hit it and start recording. Um, so now I know, camera-wise, I'm ready to go. I could see what I'm doing. Up here in the top, from left to right, you got 10 feet. So that means this controller is 10 feet away, roughly, from the actual drone. The drone right now is four feet above zero, three feet right now. It's in fly mode. Battery level's at 97%, and I've got pretty much full bars. So I'm gonna go down to here. You'll have your antennas. You can play around with them a little bit, just make sure that they're pointed, try and get the best signal. Um, on the back of the controller here, not sure if you can see, you'll have this knob for the camera angle, moves it up and down. And then this is for the angle to go left and right. And then here's your presets, which I don't use. You'll have pause, which stops, stop the, stops the drone, what it's doing. Your A-B options, which are different modes you can use to fly in, and your return home if you just want it to do it itself. Um, left side, up, down, makes the drone go up and down. Left, right, makes the drone go left, right. On this right side, forward and back, makes the drone go move forward or back. And then left or right makes the drone go left or right. This left, right makes the drone spin. So we're ready to go. We can go straight up. We got a few trees here, but nothing that we can't take care of. So you hold this. And now, as you can tell in here, the propellers have started. 
So now we're going to hold again, and this is going to make it lift about four or five feet. So forward again makes the drone go forward. Back makes it go back. Up makes it go up, and down makes it go down. This will make it spin. So spinning left, spinning right. And I'm just going to land it here. So when I land, I try and get it as close to the ground, hovering maybe four or five feet. So that way it's not going to hit trees or anything else. Then you hold the fly button again. And then it'll land. here check the GoPro make sure she's turned back on and we're gonna turn the drone off next we'll do that over here so to turn the drone off the drone itself you push once and then push again and hold the second time it'll beep the lights will do a little flicker reaction and then it'll turn off. Um, then all the lights will also power off. The gimbal will be powered off and you don't have to worry about it. Even if you're not flying it, you're going from point A to point B. If it's a ways, you're gonna to wanna to power it off because the last thing I'd want is the drone to think it's gotta take off while I'm holding it like this and then the propellers start. So to take the propellers off, you hold the easiest way is to hold this a little plastic housing that spins over the motor. You hold that with two fingers, and then these arrows will say tighten. This one in specific tightens this way and loosens this way. So you hold that little housing, and then it's not very hard at all, but then you just give it a twist. Again, you hold it right here. This one loosens the counterclockwise. Just give it a little tap, and it comes right off. And again, and again. So you spin those off, take those. Next thing I would do is disconnect the battery. You push this little button and slide the battery back. Usually I stick that foam insert right there just so it doesn't accidentally go back, turn itself on and want to start. And then to take the GoPro off, first you disconnect this HDMI plug from the side here. Then you move this little green place, or this green piece. I usually hold the GoPro with my middle and thumb, and then I push that green piece with my pointer finger and pull it out. And we'll set the GoPro off to the side. Then we'll get our little insert for the gimbal. So like this, it's got some grooves. I always make sure the sticker stays. I know that this is up and I know this faces out. So for this, it's kind of hard to do while using a hand to hold it. So, but for this, I'll start it. This always goes on top of the gimbal, and then this goes behind the gimbal. So we'll, we'll just hold it here. <clears throat> And then just push that in place. There's little etched out grooves in this rubber for the different weights and other things on here. But then after you get it started a little bit, it's a lot easier. Just click that in place. I always transport it with that plastic. That way the gimbal isn't moving around or anything else like that. So that way it's not damaged. And the controller, just to power it off, you push and then push again and hold. And then you wait, it'll vibrate, and then you can tell it's powering down right now. And then to 
to get your tablet out, you just pull this up and just pull it out. This will stretch and then it causes the spring to open up and that's what holds it nice and tight. Um, <clears throat> and after I'm done, I just fold this back down here. That way it fits in the case nicely. All right, and then that's it, and we'll pick up flying it more.